Hey guys, it's Kath. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited we have another home transformation video for you guys. And this time we renovated our basement into a family room slash playroom for the boys. And I'm so in love with how it came out. We surprised them with the entire thing. You have to stay tuned to the end to see their reaction. But I want to show you guys how we pretty much did the entire basement. So let's go. So let me take you way back to what the basement looked like when we moved in. It's a pretty big space and was already separated into a bunch of rooms, but we wanted to make it functional for our family's needs, so we had our contractors come in and start a demo. They were here pretty much every day and it all happened so fast. They broke down the walls, leveled up the floors, then started building the new walls to create all the rooms we needed because there's still so many more rooms down here that we're gonna be renovating soon, guys, like my mom's bedroom, Sean's music studio, and a big storage room, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of it. Once they got the sheetrock up, Sean put on his handy dandy painter suit and got to work. First he sprayed a layer of primer all the way through, then he went in and painted with Sherwin-Williams Extra White. Then the baseboard, trim, heating, and carpet was installed and that really made such a difference. Look how amazing it looks already. It's such a beautiful transformation, but we still have so much more work to do to bring our vision to life. So on to the DIY projects. First off, I wanted to build a picture ledge to go above the sofa, so we bought some lumber from Lowe's and cut each piece to size, then we sanded them down to make sure it had a smooth finish. To piece them together, I took the 1x4 and the 1x3 and secured them with clamps. I drilled pilot holes before screwing them together to prevent the wood from splitting. And then I took the 1x2 and attached it to the 1x4 and used a brad nailer to secure it. Super easy and I'm so proud of it. I took some wood filler to cover up the nail holes and sanded that down before Sean went ahead and painted it using the same color extra white. We drilled pilot holes and used two inch wood screws to secure it to the studs in the wall. Next up was a slat wall. We bought eight foot slats and cut them down to size and started nailing them into the wall, making sure they were straight and using a small scrap piece as a spacer in between each one to make sure they're the same distance apart. This was so easy, but adds so much life, texture, and warmth to the room. And to finish up this bare wall, we decided just to go with a half wall and painted it with Sherwin-Williams Bonafide Beige. Okay hey guys, it's delivery day. I'm so excited because our couch is finally here. Not really finally, it came super, super quick. I'm so excited. It was like maybe three weeks of delivery. I got the email yesterday that it was getting delivered today between seven and 11 and I felt like a kid on Christmas morning. This morning I woke up at 6.30 a.m. with a newborn and I was just looking at my phone like doop, doop, <laughs> waiting to make sure that I wouldn't miss their text because at 7 a.m. is pretty early. But I'm so excited. It's from Castery. We're gonna go um, take the boxes apart because, you know, I'm not fully healed. I'm only five weeks postpartum here, so I shouldn't really be carrying big things. And yeah, Sean also hurt his shoulder yesterday. So we're gonna be bringing this downstairs by pieces right now. Oh, I can't wait. Ready for this? Right. Are you excited, Harlow? Harlow! Are you excited? That's my oh baby. Oh my gosh. That's my baby Chase. Look at the that's your Chase. We're gonna be Chase. fighting over this Chase. No, no, no. no. <laughs> no I it. Oh my gosh, you can see the texture. Wow, I can't. Oh my gosh. So plush. <laughs> Well, that was a little bit of a workout, but it was super easy. Just two pieces. The hardware seems to be here. That's why this little red thing is there. Wow. Genius. Oh my gosh. Genius. Oh my gosh, it's like a hidden. That's so smart. Wow. Can you see that? It's like a little zipper and the hardware pops right out. Oh, it doesn't pop off. It's pretty secure in there actually. <laughs> Now we 
got our legs in here. Okay, I think it's gonna be pretty quick. We should start it. Yeah, yeah, let's start it. We're gonna start the clock. Now, start the clock. Do you see this beauty right here? Oh, I like even the color literally matches the slats on the wall. Good. Okay, stop timer. Took us 13 minutes to put a whole sectional together. Really? <laughs> oh, I know. Wait. <laughs> we still gotta put the pieces together. Oh, that was just the legs. Hold on. Start. So this is the piece that pretty much connects. It clicks right into place with the piece underneath there. Let's do it. Just like a puzzle, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, timer, timer. That's crazy. Uh -huh. Wait, we ain't got the pillows yet. Okay, hurry up. Jeez. Okay, timer. 17 minutes. 17 minutes to put a sofa together. Oh my oh. gosh, a beautiful sofa. And the test. <laughs> oh. We both did! Oh, that's oh really my gosh. Mm. Wow, this is so comfortable. There's a lot of bounce to it. I really like that because online you can't tell. I've never bought a couch online before. This is actually the first time buying a sofa online. You can't test it out. Yeah. This material right here, I know that they're known to be um, pet friendly and kid friendly. Um, I'm not sure if these are washable. Are these washable? I know the pillows have a zip. Oh, it does. <gasps> Machine washable. Woo. And the fact that it has a Velcro on there, it's not going to slip and slide off, which our sofa upstairs it does that. The legs, the legs literally match the slats. <laughs> Okay. One, I love it so much. <sighs> Guys, I'm obsessed. Okay, let's talk about this sofa real quick because we have so much more that we have to do to finish off this space before the weekend. But this is the Tana sectional sofa from Castlery. I am so in love. There's so many details on this sofa that literally makes it perfect for this space because we wanted to make a family room down here in our basement. When you think of family room, you think of cozy, comfy, a place where you can lounge and hang out. That's why the chase was such a big part of choosing a sofa for this space. Me and Sean are definitely going to be fighting over this, but you can see that we both fit in here pretty comfortably. So I'm going to put all the information down below for this sofa, but also linking their website because right now they're having a Memorial Day sale. I'll put all the details right over here and also in the, de in the description box. And you can also use a coupon code that I'm going to put right here as well to save you $50 in addition to their sale going on. So you can save a lot of money within this next week or so um, when shopping on Castery's website. You can go ahead and uh, request fabric swatches, which is amazing. Um, they have a 14 day return policy. So if you're not happy with it, when you sit on it, when you you know test out the fabric, whatever the case is, you can return it. They have flat rate shipping and you have a warranty coverage. So you're really not gonna lose out with shopping online right now with Castlery. So make sure you guys check it out. Everything's gonna be in the description box below. Let me know in the comments if you love this sectional as much as we do. We're gonna dress it up now. We're gonna lay out a rug, put out um, some pillows, and finish up the decor aspects of everything because I'm just so excited. Now that it's here, I'm so excited to just show the boys this space. They're gonna be so surprised. All right, we have a lot more work to do and I have a whole baby waiting for me upstairs. So <laughs> let's go. Okay, now for the boys' playroom area. I've seen so many cute arch designs all over the internet, so I knew I wanted to make one here. We measured the space and found our center point where I then drew out the arch. I just tied some twine to a pencil and used that as a compass. I taped off the straight lines, but freehanded the arch because it was just easier to paint that way. And the color I'm using is Jasper Stone from Sherwin-Williams. 
Now for the bookshelves. I took some one by two scrap wood I had, cut three of them to 24 inch pieces and took some three inch trim pieces and gave them a quick sanding. I found the studs and secured the one by twos into the wall using three inch screws. We made sure they were level and then took some wood glue and added the trim pieces to the front as a little ledge and then secured it with the brad nailer. Ugh, I just love how this came out. I found a bunch of inspiration on Pinterest for this sunrise wall and thought it was perfect for this space. So I drew an arch and painted it with the color Vanilla Chai from Sherwin-Williams. For the rays, I just used a box as a stencil and boom, it was that easy. Now onto the shiplap wall. We bought a piece of plywood and stripped it down to six inch strips. We sanded them down to get a smooth finish and then painted them with a coat of primer. We did a thin coat of paint on the wall so you didn't see white through the gaps and then we started nailing the pieces to the wall using a brad nailer and making sure each piece was level. This was our first time ever doing a shiplap wall and we are so proud of it. I love how it came out. We painted it anchors away from Sherwin-Williams and then Sean installed pieces of trim to clean up the edges. For the toy storage, I didn't want to have to buy any new shelves, so we took these two storage cubes we already had and used construction adhesive to glue them together. We also used these L brackets because we wanted to make sure that it was fully secure since this is in a kid's room. I found a 16 by 6 foot board at Lowe's and we cut it down to 58 inches so it fit perfectly on top of the shelves and we just used the same glue to secure that in place. I think the wood top just elevates it and really goes so well with all the other wood accents in the room. For the little craft corner, I wanted a place for them to hang their artwork, so I just took scrap pieces left over from the slat wall and glued mini clothespins to it, and voila, an easy gallery wall to hang their masterpieces. For our board games, I wanted to get rid of all the bulky boxes that take up so much space, so I saw this hack where you combine them all into these document bags, and it was honestly perfect. I bought the bags on Amazon, and it came with a variety of sizes, so I put the game pieces in little bags and then slipped them into the big bags, and now all of our games fit perfectly into this cube. Now I bought this rug from Boutique Rugs and it was the perfect addition to the space and really brings the room together. And now we're just gonna end it off with some decor and finishing touches and we will be all done. Okay, I'm finishing the final step, which is this play mat, which I'm so obsessed with. Look at the mat, look at the design on it. Literally just pops right into place. And what we are looking for for this space is something that would be easy to clean. Cause also we, obviously we have carpet here and you know, with Play-Doh and paint and all of that, we just don't wanna have to worry about the boys getting that dirty. I don't wanna have to stress about them playing down here by themselves and is the carpet getting stained so um we looked on pinterest for play mats that were like really great quality that were easy to clean and we found this one from little nomad you can pretty much add however many pieces you want to make it as big as you want i think we have more pieces so we can add on and they have so many beautiful designs i just love this one because it goes with a little boho feel that we're going with here they just clip right into place and they're easy to wipe clean so that way I don't have to stress and we have the end pieces here since this is pretty much where I'm stopping and guys I think this is the last step before pretty much we're gonna tell the boys to come down we finally finished this space we did amazing okay I think it's time to go hold them. Yep, keep holding. Keep holding. Oh, no, no, keep holding. Come, come. Okay, now? stop right there. And now.
<laughs> but you painted that? I painted that with my own hands. I know. Okay, I you love it, Avery? Yay! <laughs> Do you love it? <laughs> okay, <laughs> Oh, I'm so in love with this space. We never want to leave. We've literally been here every day <laughs> since we finished it. I hope you guys love this video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see more transformation videos because we are transforming our entire house room by room and we're going to take you guys along with us. So make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, share it, and yeah, we will see you guys in the next one. Be blessed.